All right, y'all. It's an exciting day for me. Uh, I just got my pieces through Amazon. This is the SSD. This is the RAM. Um, all the information I'm about to show you today is basically coming off of somebody else from Amazon. So just bear with me because I've never done this before. And we're going to see what it's like to update from an HD to an to an SSD. I don't know if you guys can see whichever way that is, but that's my SSD, and I'm upgrading from four to sixteen gigabytes of RAM for this. This is an old block. This is an old model. I think it's a 2015-2016 HP 15T touchscreen. I actually was going to buy a laptop and then I realized I wasn't going to get some of the same features that I already have in this. And all I really needed to do was to upgrade the module. So or the, uh, not module, but the SSD and the RAM. So we're gonna move forward with that. First things first, I'm going to remove the power cord and remove the power cord from the power outlet by my feet. This way, we don't have any power going to the unit. We're gonna open it up and we're gonna hold down the power button for 15 seconds, 14 Mississippi, 13 Mississippi. <sighs> Now we do that just to make sure that there's no additional electrical charges inside of the device. So we're going to turn it off. We're going to have to do that again because you got to take the battery out first. Otherwise, you're just going to power up, power up the device. So that's my bad. So battery, be sure to do that before you do the 15 count. And now back to the 15 count just to make sure that there's no, electric, no more electricity in the device. 14, 13. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, cool. Now that we've got that done, I'm going to flip it over. And I literally didn't have any tools for dismantling a laptop. So I went ahead and bought this set along with these accessories from Amazon. I got that as well. Uh, just to try and make the job a little bit easier and a little bit more, I guess, coherent or cohesive, to me at least, uh, before the entire process started. It took me about four hours to make a recovery copy of this entire system. But make sure you either have a 256, 128, uh, this is a one terabyte as a matter of fact, but I've had this for a long time, so it was really, really slow, but it did the job, so I'm not complaining. Um, but make sure you have something to save your recovery disk onto and make sure it's large enough to hold the entire hard drive all right so i'm gonna go ahead and get this open yeah. screwdriver accessories just gotta find the right uh phillips for it we can move forward let me see here It's a little too big. Okay, we're going to go with the Phillips one, which is this one right here. And I can go ahead and get started. I'm probably gonna time elapse a lot of the small stuff in the video, but you guys get the point. I have a little old watch can here. It's a G-Shock watch can, but I'm just gonna use that to hold the screws that are coming out of the back of this device. Gotta got excuse my enthusiasm because uh, I'm excited and nervous at the same time. Just don't want to make any mistakes and break any of the parts on this laptop. This was a gift a long time ago from my wife. Shout out to Ramona. I actually needed this laptop because I'm actually uh, trying to take the Network Plus and 
this was my only resource. So, <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do, you know what I mean? Guys, do yourselves get something with a magnetic tip, it makes life easy. Especially getting it in and out of these little holes. Pause. And guys, try to be thorough and make sure you have all of the screws before you try to separate the back from the actual laptop. Now, if this actually works, I might invest a little bit more money into a new NIC card which would give me not just the 2.4 gigahertz, but the five gigahertz bandwidth. So the internet speed will increase. Now, upon, when I was watching other YouTube videos, which I don't want to forget, so I'm actually talking about it to you guys. I realized that there are screws underneath the rubber footings of this particular model. And I don't know if you can see right here, but the model again is the 15T AC136DS HP laptop. Now, keep in mind if you have uh, this particular model, it's not gonna be uh, a i core processor. You're looking at a Celeron processor which is uh, soldered to the motherboard, so you're not gonna be able to do the swap out for the processor which was a little disappointing to me but it is what it is so under here we have more screws so just taking out a little pry tool uh, i have a few of them that came inside the set make sure you have something that's going to help you out with that and just be easy and simply just pull those up just double-sided sticky tape right there so it shouldn't be that big of a deal to pull up and just pay close attention to what you're doing because some of these parts back here are really 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 delicate cool so we got those two feet and as the previous videos that I watched have informed me you have these two screws as well so kind of go ahead and make sure we get those And guys, they tell you that all of the screws are pretty much the same. Uh, I don't know if you can see this, but they are all exactly the same. So it doesn't matter which ones go in which holes. You don't have to keep track of them like that. Don't stretch yourself out. Okay. All right, so. It looks like we have the makings of taking the back off. We're going to just sit these over here on top of the lamp lampstand. I want to sit them face up so we don't destroy the glue on the back of those tabs. And we're just going to turn this back over. They tell you to gently find an open space for where the laptop separates. But this is always the most nerve-wracking part to each video that I've ever seen. So we're just going to See what we can do about finding it in an open space. I thought I saw, I've been examining this laptop for like a week now. So if I'm really able to, that was nice. Nice and easy. So I'm just gonna gently sit this here and just, just slide the face of the laptop open. I'm trying to give it a little twist in motion so it just pops up. So we don't break anything and be careful with sliding the tool too far and you don't want to damage any of the components inside of the laptop. I'm just going to put my finger here and see if I can get on the other side of that. That was a fail, but it's all good. It's all good. Try to choke up a little bit on the 
on the tool this way you've got a you got better control on it gives you I'm finding it easy to just just pull up on the tabs hopefully I've got all the screws because it's feeling like I might be missing a couple so let's just go ahead and finish the cry process first and see if we can't locate me to missing all right let's turn this back over hold on to the price for a second that might be a problem take this out first guys make make things easy on yourself let's see what we're missing here are we missing any screws I don't see any additional screws back here. It may have just been the huh, the, 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 the CD-ROM drive. Let's go back in and see if we can get the rest of that. I don't know if you can see, but we already made the openings on this side already. So we're just going to go ahead and finish. There you go. See? Taking, taking the drive out was a problem. Got to be careful with the uh, the USB ports too. The USB ports are going to try and trip you up. So we're going to go past those ports and come up here to where the air vents are and see if we can't make that happen on that side over there. I'm gonna come back on this side. telling you something's going on inside over here because got the rest of got the rest of it up just like I said this is my first time doing this so we're going to see where the stress points are and find out what's holding us in there ah uh, guys be careful like I was saying I missed a screw that's why this side wasn't popping up this is the side by the uh, the USB ports the uh, RJ45 jack and the HDMI jack and if you screw that up you have to get yourself another motherboard why because those are all of your accesses so my bad so boom I'm glad we were, this is why I say take your time. Because if I would've just tried to pry that open, I would've broke something. See, separated right away. That was on me, y'all. Right, so I'm just gonna put that to the side there. Close this up. And guys, what we're looking at here is the inside of this laptop. So we're going to be replacing these two components, or this component, which is the hard drive and the RAM here. This RAM here is the four gigabyte and we're gonna be upgrading with two eight gigabyte cards. This actually was supposed to have two, two accesses, but it looks like somebody, I don't know, it's right there. Okay, cool. So, first things first. This is the plate. Your fan should be under here somewhere. But this is this is your heat your heat sink, and let's get started. Have to be, again be very very careful. You see your speakers on the side over here. You just don't want to screw that up. Okay, so this particular component here is going to require you to 
take out this screw here and this screw here and this screw here okay so we are removing this HD with the new S and replacing it with the SSD we're just going to put this right here because we're going to reuse those screws and that particular mount So, again, magnetic tips, guys. Easy life stuff. So, just so we know where we are, we're going to open up this SSD. And it's going to look something like this when, when we're done. Okay? So, we're just going to hold this bracket up just a little bit to make sure that we've got some wiggle room and we're going to take this end of this bracket here and take this screw out rather guys this video is not just for you this is for me too it kind of gives me a a map a road map of what's going to happen here okay so now that we've got that SSD up I'm going to take another tool here another pry tool and I'm just going to gently pry the access away from it okay but before we do anything else we are going to take this mount off on both sides so we can sit the new SSD inside okay so you have those three that sit here here and here and then you have one two three and four okay which holds the actual SSD so let's get to it I gotta remember to keep the component directly under this under the camera so you guys can see what I'm doing and again same size screws do not stress out so this is the bottom mount and so we know what we're talking about here we're going to take this and sit it right there I got some fat fingers y'all so you gotta excuse me a little nerve, a little shaky, but give me a second so I can get that in there. Mm -hmm. Boom. Life is good, guys. Screw one. Magnetic tips. Magnetic tip lifestyle, guys. As you can see, I'm the, I'm the guy that needs needs that. So boom. Boom. That side, that's the bottom side. Because remember, this came from this side here, and it's going to mount just like that. So, side two, keep in mind that this L piece is the back side of your SSD. There you have it, guys. 
So I'll just sit this here, grab this, and voila. It. It. Okay. Oop. Okay. It's getting a little out of control. And the one is here. See? So just gonna fit that on there. Which I probably should have done in the first place, but it is what it is. Super hot in here. The things you do to stay busy during quarantine, right guys? We're actually doing this out of necessity, but boom. What is happening here? It looks like one of our screws having a little fun with me. Hmm. Let me see something, guys. Because these three screws here have a thinner base than the other two. So I'm going to have to think that I might have been using or trying to use the wrong screw for this top side piece here. had to get the arrows back on the other side. Okay, looks like we're back on track. Good stuff. Now, I was going to wait till Sunday to do this. Today is... What's today's date, guys? Uh, I don't even know what today's date is. But today is actually Thursday. I was going to wait till Sunday to do this when I got the uh, the thermal compound for the heat sink. But I didn't feel like waiting any longer. And I wanted to see how fast or how much or the difference in, in performance was going to be on this unit. So don't tighten too hard, guys. Just... Boom. Make it easy on yourself. Make sure you line up. Your SSD. Make sure it looks good. We are going to plug this bad boy in before we do anything else. Boom, boom. Sit her down. Now remember, only three screws came out of each one of these. 
So you're only supposed to have three screws. So don't panic if you see a fourth, okay? Wow. That's impressive. This is pretty heavy too, guys, in comparison to the weight on the, uh, the, the new hard drive. Crazy. Okay, so back to it. I'm just gonna sit the screw in the grooves here. That's one. Two is back here. Ooh. You know what? Let's not be a bonehead. We have other heads for the Phillips. Let me see if this double zero or triple zero will help out because the screw heads are a little smaller. I'm just gonna test it with the one that we've already got in there. There's too much wiggle room on that one. I'm gonna put the double zero back, a uh, triple zero back and pull the double zero out of the uh, out of the case there. Again, test it against the one that we got in there. That one feels like a better fit, so we're gonna test that out. We're gonna sit that one there. That's the PH1, the other Phillips one. And we're gonna go ahead and see if we can't manage with the Phillips double zero. Big, big reasons that I got. I, I went ahead and purchased the boom. A lot easier. Get yourself a, a laptop tool set, guys. If you intend to do anything, it's a really good investment. Especially if you got fat fingers like I got fat fingers, then you are going to completely understand why having the right tool for the right job is necessary. Well, it's always necessary, but it's always a good idea. It's always the last screw, guys. Always the last screw that wants to be stubborn. Don't worry, once we get to the RAM, it's, it should be a lot easier. There we go. Boom, got it to sit. Lovely. Okay. So we've got a bit of success with the SSD. The RAM on the other hand, let's see what we got going on here. Pull out the side tabs, lift up, pull out. Beautiful. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our RAM. And the same, the same way it went in is the same way Look at all the same way it came out, and this is the this is the four. It's the same way this one is going to go in. Don't do that. Don't say that to me. Okay, so guys, we have a bit of an issue here. The RAM that was purchased is too wide. You see the difference? So, we're gonna have to come back to this part of the video at another time. 
because there's at least, I want to say, an eighth to a quarter of an inch too long. Won't fit. So, we got to put the four back in. Hopefully, this will help out enough until we can get this right. We just need to find out the, I have to get the specs right on that drive. Or that, yeah, that ramp. Okay, but until next time, see you soon, guys.